Hello and welcome to another episode of Audio Scroll. I'm Kang, and today is September 10th, 2016. It's a way shorter episode this week, but I would like to give my thoughts on the PlayStation meeting and what happened on September 7th. Uh, overall, I thought it was a pretty good uh, presentation. I could definitely see people expecting uh, E3-like uh, presentation to be disappointed in this. I was hoping that was where they were going with this, but totally expecting a business meeting and that was what I got. Uh, first things first, Andrew House comes out and officially announces the PlayStation 4 Slim coming out September 15th for 299 US dollars. Uh, I think that's a great price point. You know, it's a pretty low low barrier uh, point now to enter into the PlayStation 4 ecosystem. It does have a lot of great first party and third party uh, exclusives. Then right afterwards, he announces the official name of the Neo, and it is called the PlayStation 4 Pro. Can't say I really like the name. Uh, it doesn't roll off the tongue all that well, but just calling it the Pro for short works out, so whatever. Mark Cerny then comes out and talks about four benefits of what the Pro can do. The first one is playing games at 4K resolution. Uh, doesn't really need to go more detail into this, you know, high resolution just means better image quality. Uh, the second point is that it will support high dynamic range or HDR, which is just a greater dynamic range of luminosity. So the colors will disappear more natural to the eye. Colors might pop up a little bit better. And of course you do need an HDR compatible TV to see uh, the benefits of this. The third point he talked about, and I am glad that they uh, touched upon this point, was the benefits of the Pro for those who don't have a 4K TV. And of course, they showed off uh, Paragon, Shadow of Mordor, and uh, For Honor. All of them having better texture quality, uh, be better visual effects, lighting, etc. And that was all I wanted from, from this system. You know, just game to look and run better. That's all I was asking for. Uh, the fourth point, which I felt like they needed to talk a little bit more about this, was VR integration, how the Pro will affect the PSVR, pretty much exactly how it will affect every other game from now on. Just more power just means better visual and better uh, performance. But, you know, hey, it, it's still relatively new, so maybe this, once they get their stride on making VR games, they'll, I'm sure they'll uh, sh show have more to show and talk about it. We got new videos of Horizon Zero Dawn, new Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and finally a, a Mass Effect Andromeda video. All of them look uh, really good, and I'm sure all of them will look even more awesome on a 4K display. Uh, ending the conference, Andrew House comes back out and say Netflix and YouTube will have 4K video streaming. Every PS4 console will be HDR compatible via a firmware update next week. And he announces the release date of November 10th, 2016, and the price point of 399 US dollars for the PlayStation 4 Pro. Overall, I do like the price point of the Pro. $399 is not that expensive. It's relatively low uh, barrier entry point. Um, I will be planning on picking one up in November. A lot of people don't know this, but there was a PlayStation meeting event in Asia, like right after the English meeting. And they've already confirmed a lot of third party games, or a lot of games in general, to already support the Pro. A few of them are games that I'm really interested in. You know, Gravity Rush 2, Neo, World of Final Fantasy, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2.8, Yakuza 6. I'm really excited to pick up those games to play on the Pro. Uh, yeah, so. That's all about it for the Pro. Tell me what you guys think. Will you guys be picking up a Pro in the future? If not, yeah, go ahead and let us know. If I'd like to read the responses. Okay, next topic. What's the next topic, Ren? The Tokyo Game Show coming up next week. Right on, Tokyo Game Show. Um, Tokyo Game Show is happening September 15th through the 18th, but Sony is having their pre-TGS conference on September thirteenth. All right, what do you, what do you want to happen here? Uh, what have we talked about last week, man? I just want to talk about <laughs> more games. 
it's kind of tricky because I know like uh, the market though is more aimed towards like the Japanese audience, not for the American audience. Oh yeah. So we're not talking about Days Gone, and there's man. A new Red Dead uh, Redemption game to be announced or anything to do with Rockstar? Forget that. That's not going to be announced over at a TGS. But I'm hoping this new mystery game that Square has um, has trademarked, I'm hoping they announce it, talk about it, and I'm hoping it's a new um, Tokyo RPG Factory game. Uh, I do want to see some kind of reveal. Um, and then I'm hoping that... They uh they come they've talked about Seiken Densetsu in the past and I'm hoping they announce uh, a new game Prefer- preferably I would like uh, Secret of Mana two to somehow be ported for like Nintendo 3DS uh, I think that'd be great uh, but I would love that game to come back or you know they announce like a new Seiken Densetsu game or, or uh, a Mana game and it's coming out for the Vita or Maybe for the 3DS as well, but preferably Vita. All right. How about you? Uh, I would like to see more Nino Kuni 2, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would like, I would love to see Final Fantasy 15 running on the 4 Pro. Um, and I also just like to see, you know, just new IPs from uh, Japanese developers. Not to, you know, maybe new IPs or even returning IPs coming to yeah. the next gen consoles. And uh, season two for uh, from uh, Street Fighter Five. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nice. Uh, I hope they talk more about Dragon Quest uh, Eleven. Mm-hmm. Uh, show more gameplay footage. I want them to focus more on the uh, PlayStation Four. That one I'm very hyped up for. Uh, but I wouldn't mind the 3DS either. But of course, I'm not going to get that. No. Yeah, not me, anyways. Well, <laughs> I'm definitely looking for it because what they tease from the PS4 version is looks so good. <laughs> So, but I feel like I, I feel like the console that they're made for. Um, I feel like the 3DS is more aimed for international audience, uh, like the the Japanese audience and uh, maybe like commuter audience as well. Whereas the PlayStation Four is more aimed for the hardcore uh, audience or the uh, American audience. Yes, yeah. I think we just we, we like a home console. Mm-hmm. It seems to support that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so I I wouldn't be surprised if they just focus on the 3DS version. Mm-hmm. Alright, so okay, so so if you could have one game announced, one 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 dream game announced, what would you be what would it be at TGS? A dream game. Oh man. Going for the gut punch. <laughs> if, uh, or let me talk first about my you go ahead. You think of, okay. I know, I have I to would, think about this. I would love to see a next gen Wild Arms game. We yes. would love to see that. Yeah. Uh, you know, brand that. high dev, uh, set in a <laughs> Western world, you know, horses, guns, uh, six shooters, you know, fully explorable Western towns. You know, you go in a bar, it has that sliding door, everything, the whole, the whole shebang of bang, cowboy hats, but RPG, JRPG. I, I don't know why I'm always stuck on JRPG because, uh, I forgot all about Wild Arms, and it is their anniversary after all, so I want that too, and we've talked about it in the past. Um, and I mentioned before about uh, Legend of Dragoon as well. That's another one that I think would be really cool. Um, what about, like, for... But what what about not RPG? Have you ever had anything in mind? Uh, yeah, not RPGs? Yeah, kind of. Uh, Onomusa 5. Yes. I want a new Onimusha game. I would game. love to see a new Onimusha. If it's, um, what was I thinking of? Okay, so here, what I take about that new God of War game that they showed during E3 is uh, the gameplay style. It doesn't look like it plays like the previous God of War games. No. Uh, it's something different and unique. I like, I actually like where the camera is placed. Uh, so I'm didn't really digging on that. Devil May Cry. I, think, Devil May Cry? I think I would like uh, a Devil May Cry game Why to not? come back. Starring a uh, new our, da- <laughs> our, like Dante, our Dante, Dante. I don't know if I like that. I <laughs> like the pronunciation, or like people, uh, you know, calling him Dante, like don't. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I I didn't hate DMC. I I enjoyed it. I liked it. Yeah, it I enjoyed was it fine. a lot too. Yeah. Uh, but I still do like the original character. I would love uh, for Devil May Cry to come back. 
And uh, I think now's the time uh, to do something about it because I don't mind the old old style gameplay. It's great. But I don't know. You look at Resident Evil 7 and they could like take a chance to be a little bit more innovative and try something new. Yeah. For Devil May Cry. Or, I don't know, reboot it again. I don't care. Just just have Capcom, just have those people do it and make the, make the character the way that we like him to be and I'm I'm down for it. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Any other thoughts? Um, no, I'm just excited to. Yeah, I'm excited to see what's announced. Um, any kind of like, did you? Are you hoping for more support for the Vita or 3DS? Any kind of special announcement to go on for those handheld systems? No, no, no. Those They're those not, are dead. Yeah. Let, let 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 them die. Um, the Vita. I mean, the Vita is still getting support. The 3DS is getting support, but you know, I I I don't play it as much just because I don't commute as much. You know. So there's no reason for me to pick it up when I'm home and playing on the big screen. Yeah. So I I much prefer if they announce you know console well, like console me. games. That's like me, man. Sometimes I just lay down on my bed and I just have like the screen like you know kind of just mm-hmm. laying down on my chest, holding it, just playing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. That's right. <laughs> well, what would you prefer? Um. Well. It would be nice for them to kind of start announcing and promoting uh, some of the games coming out for us, some of the indie developers. Uh, you know, like, what were they called? Drinkbox Studios? Drinkbox Studios. Um, any kind of devel- developers like those who are making some unique games that are in- very innovative, uh, keep pushing it. I don't think the Vita is fully dead. It's still got some life in it. And just just promote, just promote these special games. I mean, Square came out with the um, Adventure of Mana. Right. And it seemed to, to have done really pretty well. And I, I think it's really cool. I like that. And I... I hope more games like that keep coming out for the Vita because mm-hmm. I think it gives it some life. And I mean, man, that game originally came out for the Game Boy. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, that's true. Huh. Yeah. I guess one more thing I do, I do want to see at TGS is PS4 Pro versions of games. Nice. All right, so yeah, that's about wrapped it up for TGS. Anything else, Brandon? Uh, maybe Kojima come out there and talk a little bit more about. Oh uh, yes, yeah. yes, Kojima. <laughs> Oh, I keep forgetting about the name. What is it? Deathly... Death Stranding? Death Stranding. Death yeah, Stranding, like yeah. I would like to see more of it because he did say it's an action game. Going to be an action game. Yeah. So... I mean, that's cool Like if he's still hinting at stuff and they're just focusing on developing. That's fine, but uh, I would like to see a little bit more about that. Uh, mm-hmm. But like, to be... <laughs> yeah. I would love to see more, but then to be fair, I don't expect to see anything until, like, Maybe E3 2018, because I don't think it's going to be a game. Because I don't think it's going to be released until like at least 2019. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Cool. Well, no, I think that's about it for me. All right, yeah, me too. That about wraps it up our TGS talk. We'll tell us what you guys think. We would like to hear what you guys want to see or are expecting at TGS. That about wraps it up for us. Uh, thanks for listening, and see you next time. Bye.